In this video, we're gonna be running through a new feature for Zoho CRM called the Interactions tab. Goal of this feature is to give you an all-in-one place to track every single thing going on with your customer interactions and various different types of touch points. It's gonna be rolling out for the CRM for Everyone UI that we've been covering here over the last couple weeks. And it's probably one of my favorite new features that's gonna be included. So before I jump in, I do wanna ask if you find the video useful, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment with which components of this you're excited to use in your account. And just head on over to zanata.com and click on book a meeting if you'd like to talk about how we can help with your Zoho install. So with that, let us jump right in. This is a pretty long read, so we're gonna take our time and kind of go through each component in detail. So what is the Interactions tab? Uh, so the Interactions tab is kind of like a new version of a timeline inside of your records. So you're still gonna have your core timeline where the timeline includes all field updates, all functions, all workflow triggers, everything but they're gonna give you this new version of the timeline that's gonna sit next to it called interactions. And the idea here is that you're gonna get two different components that are gonna show up here. One is going to be the specific interactions made by a customer, so opening an email, attending a webinar, a phone call being placed, and the other will be signals, which are kind of like a custom way that you can set up notifications to your users based on those interactions, right? So this could be like a little blinking light if an email gets opened, right? It's that signal to take an action. So here again, we can see the things being done, those blue on the right-hand side, and then the reaction from the client on the left, green colored as a signal. It's gonna break all of those down day by day from the various different communication platforms offered by Zoho. One of the things that's really interesting about this platform is because you're on Zoho, a lot of these interaction touch points are actually gonna be tracked in Zoho, right? So obviously you've got your email and things like that, but you also have Zoho survey, you've got Zoho webinar, you could have Zoho voice plugged in, right? So you could imagine you have all these various channels, but all of that interaction data is just gonna be tracked here natively inside of a lead and contact record. So as we can see, again, the reaction from the client being that signal on the left and the thing that we did being the follow-up on the right. Now, they're also gonna give you some insight into not just that they filled out a survey or you know maybe attended a call, but also exactly what happened, right? So we can see how many questions did they fill out? What was the status and even the result of that call, right? So they're getting a little bit more granular. A lot of the times we'll call uh, the different platforms channels. For some reason, they're calling them mediums. But important to know, we've got email, desk, meeting, Zoho webinar, backstage, your integrated telephony option. All of these are gonna be the different mediums that are tracked inside of this tab. In addition to that, they're also giving us an easy way to see how these particular touch points affected the core statuses that we're using to work through that module. So definitely extremely important in the lead here. These milestones are essentially going to be history tracked pick lists. So think about like your lead status. Anytime that there's an update to one of those, it's going to stamp that into this timeline um, and actually show it how long it's been in that stage, how many touch points occurred between the previous stage and this new current one. Again, so we'll kind of see, hey, they opened this email, we're considering them contacted at that point. Now, again, for me, I might wanna get a response or a picked up phone call before I move that status, but it's all up to you on how you wanna do this. The core important thing is that you've got this history of we sent emails, they opened emails, we placed phone calls, they picked it up, the status moved to this new value, and then I get that full running timeline connected directly to it of all of those important progress-based milestones for that particular record. In addition, we're gonna see time gaps, right? So particular amounts of time between each touch point, as well as certain like gaps, right? So they're calling it an orphan state, which basically means a longer than average gap, right? So for Zanata, for example, an average gap between a point of communication as we're working our deal flow is about one week. For us, we try not to hammer people too hard, but we do wanna be checking in if they've got any questions about a proposal or if they finished writing up those requirements for us. And so I could go in as a manager and look at a particular deal, maybe one that we close lost and see, hey, are there any orphan states? It's like, oh yeah, there was about two weeks there where we didn't follow up with them or check in. It's like, yeah, that probably didn't help us close the deal, 
right? So we're going to be able to see each of those timeline components as we're looking at this interactions tab. We also have the ability to use filters. So we can filter down for just certain types of communications, certain specific users, and also a certain time period. So you might say, hey, I don't need to see everything from the history of time. Give me the last 30 days. What are the communications that have occurred with these four users? As well, you might want to get rid of certain things like backstage or survey or desk and maybe just look at certain forms of communication that are more relevant for prospecting just based on your particular need. Now, you can also view this a few different ways. So first off is going to be all. That's going to show you the signals, the follow-ups, and the milestones that are being tracked. Looking at signals is just going to be based on specifically the signals coming from the client. So like the open of an email, the answering of a phone call. And then lastly, you can look at milestones, which gives you those major movements through a status, as well as the last touch point before each of those milestones. So like, hey, they picked up the phone call, then we went to the contact and status. Right, to be able to take a look at each and every one of those within that milestones view. So important thing to note, uh, this should be live in your account right now. It is only going to support leads and contacts, which does kind of make sense. Those are like the people here that exist inside of a CRM. I will leave a link to these articles in the description below, but they have kind of a full breakdown here of how you imagine using this, what components might apply for you. Right. So again, just keeping in mind that it breaks into the signals. That's what the customer did. The follow ups. That's what we did. And then those milestones, which are like the big progress steps as we're moving down a particular pipeline. I really am excited for this. I think one of the coolest things about it, you know, as we kind of look through this article, you know, with with Zoho, you have all these different platforms that are connected together. Right. You've got Zoho Social, Desk, Survey, Backstage, Webinar, all of these different things that are included especially if you're on Zoho One, that you can be using to do your outreach and engagement with leads and contacts. One of the pieces of feedback, honestly, that we get a lot as a partner that we pass on to Zoho is, yeah, I've got all these tools, but it feels a little disconnected, right? Like you might have a lead, you've got your emails related list, you've got your calls and meetings under that little activities list, you've got a custom module for survey responses that we're writing to each time a survey is done. Same with desk right? You've got a whole kind of separate related list that doesn't even get into the social media engagement with Facebook and Twitter backstage, another custom module about event attendance. And so when you go in and look at a lead and you're like, okay, what's the story here, right? What all happened? Why do I care about this particular lead? It's tough to piece it together because you're kind of scrolling up and down. It's like, okay, this happened, then this happened, then this happened. With this new tool, again, you have that ability to say, hey, just give me the timeline, every single thing that occurred from start to finish without any need to try to piece that together yourself, just based on all of these different related entries of data. So I really like this update. I'm excited to see how people are going to use it. Again, it feels like one of those things where it's, you know, let's bring it all together, right? We have all these tools. They feel a little disconnected. I think this is a really big step in making things feel much more connected um, as far as all of these different communication channels might go. So with that, I think we're ready to wrap up here for today. As always, leave me a comment down below on if you're excited to see this one. Has this been something you've been waiting for like I have and how you imagine yourself using it? Um, with that, we'll wrap up for today. So as always, my name is Tyler Colt and I will see you next time.